take some questions yes, how, how does that sound sounds good sounds good 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 uh any requests around the room we've got everybody socially distanced in here so don't worry about that if you're uh, on planet earth somewhere and you're uh, you're sitting in a closet on your own <coughs> with all the lights off under the covers smoking <laughs> cigarettes it's fine uh, <laughs> um no yeah. we're a bit we're getting ready to uh have some, we launched? Some, someone's asked for a play, Glad to Know. Glad to Know? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> anyone anyone but that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, I'll get it. Sorry about this, very professional. <laughs> Don't worry, Mum. Second Mom's Avenue. You <laughs> can tell me off later on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I can do that one. <laughs> uh, I can't remember how it goes. I remember that bit, but... Second Avenue? Second Avenue? Yeah, okay. Second Avenue, okay. <laughs> this is a bit tricky on the guitar also, but, but here we go. I think there's nothing. Um, I don't know if I can do that one either, actually. It's also, <laughs> and also it's in the same key as the last one. Any more requests over there? We, we are not alone. You're not alone, oh my god. Why don't you just choose one? <laughs> How about zeros? Zeros? Let's do it. Let's
let's just do an argument with my mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth, well, my uh, Leeds album, since I'm in Leeds, you know, and I know Carl, I'm not sure you got it yet, man. Have you got it? No. No, you've not got it. Ben, have you, you've not got it, but I just told you about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and I'm going to be getting some copies. I'm going to be giving it a John. For the, I keep saying this, but these are the last ones. Um, <laughs> but I've, I've got, I said I'm going to give one to, um, give, give one away. Probably give them all away. But this one is the first song from that album, Everything's Dandy, and this is called You Can't Go Home Again. Can't go home again. Can't go home again. 
the big list here. Right. I'll, just leave that, I'll just leave that there for now. Yeah, but we have to stay socially distant, don't we? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so right. we've had a lot of questions in while you've been playing. Good. Um, so I'll just fire away and you can answer it your own will. Okay. So tell us a little bit about the Chinese album, the mm. cover. A lot of interest in that. How did mm. that come about? Well, I had a love child. <laughs> um, and, uh, well, she's all grown up now, but you can see that she's, she's a young girl there. Um, a lot of people don't know about it, I uh, don't like to talk about it, I uh, prefer to talk about my charity work, <laughs> and that's okay, uh, which I also don't like to talk about, to be honest. Uh, but no, uh, the cover came about in uh, Los Angeles, California, and we, uh, the band were making the um, video for uh, the song Mungo City, and um, we had um, two people actually, I think they're credited on the album. This one's uh, Mary Iggy Fry, and the other one's Heather, I can't for the life of me remember her last name. It's just, there, there were sort of two women that helped us really sort of, you know, good with the sort of styling and looking, you know, cool, and sort of gathering everything in that we sort of wanted to get uh, for the Chinese album. So they helped us a lot. But we did it while we were making that video because we were sort of all in the same place. And um, we brought in the um, young girl. And I, I, I honestly can't, I don't know her name. And um, it's a shame because I, wonder, I often wonder where, where she is now. And if, <laughs> if you're out there, <laughs> my love child, uh, give us a call. Let me know. Just, you know, um, 1 800 leads. All right, yeah. You did a gig at the 100 Club in 2013, and you still on stage that the gig was being filmed. Um, is there any plans to have that released? Oh, well, that's a good question, John. Um, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it wasn't my question. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I take credit for it anyway. Um, we shot that with my friend Johnny Carr. Um, I think he was a little disappointed with aspects of the way that it sort of came out on his end um, but I did hear the recordings like because we recorded it you know multi-track yeah. recording too and it sounded great so Johnny if you're watching this <laughs> get your act together pull your finger out man and let's get this done okay because uh, people want to see that and uh, and plus, we were all in boiler suits. We looked like we were working in a quick fit uh, place. So it's worth it for that alone. And plus, it was very hot in there. Was it? Yes, it was hotter than the sun. Uh, and there was a lot of perspiring going on. When you walked past Ben over there before, he said that he really liked your aftershave. Mm. What are you wearing? Because he wants to get something for Christmas. All right. Well, this is good news. Is that I actually can spy it for you. Ben. It's called bat piss, and there's loads of it. Yeah, I, I, I make it myself. So come see me afterwards. Uh, there's an inexhaustible supply. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. There you go, Ben. Right. Has that been useful for you? Yeah. Um, out of the four LPs, which is your favourite and why? Oh, I don't like any of them really. <laughs> um, I don't know really, they're all different aren't they, I mean, it's so hard to say, you know, I, I don't really think about that sort of thing too much, you know, I... Uh... Could you for the purposes of this question? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever worked in the refereeing world, by the way? Uh, you're going to send me off. You're getting close to it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, the, which is my favourite? Well, I mean, I, I, it's probably... Um, I don't know, man. I think probably Resident Alien. You know, uh, uh, I know it's a sort of long time ago, but um, overall, I think it's a close call between Resident Alien and the Chinese album because at that time, I think the band really worked pretty well together. You know, we had a few sort of slight, you know, issues communication-wise that were always tough. But you get that in any band, you know, uh, as part of it. Um, uh, but I think when you know a lot of the a lot of things aligned really well for Resident Alien and um, uh, yeah, it's a close call. It's a close. It's it's hard to say. But probably if I had to go for one, I'd go for Resident Alien for the sake of you putting me on the spot, John. Thanks. Yeah.
Um, it's just a yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> He's a referee. You see him on the telly. <laughs> yeah. You're about to go on on stage. Is there anything you do before you go on? Any music that you listen to to get you in the mood? Or are you just a natural performer? Um, no. Uh, I'm not, no, I'm not like that. Uh, some people do, I know, they like to get pumped up and all that. But, I mean, maybe for more sort of rock gigs, I might do that. But I've been doing this sort of thing, you know, yeah. chill. And, and to be frank with you, it's a bit different because you sort of want to, you want to keep it, you know, yeah, as, no, no. as low as possible. So, it's, you know, it's the point. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Cleveland! <laughs> and then doing that sort of coming out and playing the acoustic guitar, so. <laughs> It don't really steady mum. <laughs> don't really work um, very well. So yeah, I, I, nothing really. I'm, I'm more of a sort of, you know, I like to sort of just have a sort of clear pathway to 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 the stage and not not, not too many uh, questions. <laughs> <laughs> and what are the chances of a, a reunion for a reunion? Well, space on. Yeah. Slim, I'd say. I'd say it's slim, man. You know, I mean, where there's life, there's hope. Uh, but I doubt it's something that's going to happen in the near future, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I mean, there may be a sort of stars aligned sort of thing. We did it in 2006, you know, we talked about, uh, Johnny sort of got everybody together and did all the bands he was in. And, and that started a bit of a sort of us getting together again. And, um, and uh, we found that a lot of fun. Um, but I think, you know, Space Hog without my brother is not really Space Hog. We played a bit, we did other shows, we had Tim O'Ellis, who's great, a really great guitarist. Um, and uh, another guy, Derek Smalls, I think it's no, Der <laughs> Derek Hawkins. And uh, he's both great, you know, but it's not quite the same, you know. So. I, I don't know. We'd have to see about that. You know, if, every, if, it, if all the sort of stars aligned and and uh, and uh, somebody wants to play, I think I think it's possible. You know, um, I think it'd be fun. I mean, for me, it's a bit different being sort of. You know, I'm almost fifty. You Thank you. Well, it's my you know, <laughs> it's part of my beauty routine. Then we'll get back to you on that one. Um, Tetlis. I used to be a tetlis on the top there, um, but. Uh, no, I, 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 don't, I don't know how it is, you know, I'd, I'd have to sort of get, lose all weight and get, it's really hard. Don't so, no, no, it's not that, it's just <laughs> the like, has 10 pounds. it does, it does. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's doing a rock band, you know, Space Ops yeah. are like full on rock band. And uh, it, it's, uh, I'd have to get, you know, I could, I could do it for sure. Um, but it'd have to be fun too, and it'd have to be sort of, you know, there'd have to be an, a, a, an impetus from everybody to want to sort of find the joy in doing something, you know, and I, I think that might more likely come around as something from making something new again, perhaps, and, and I think, you know, look, I certainly have, have played my part in, in the aspects of being uh, uh, dysfunctional and sort of removed from, from that sort of focus over the years, but... Um, but, uh, you know, we all, I think, you know, everybody's forgive, move on. And, and I have a manager, Rob uh, Dillman, uh, who's worked with Space Hog before. Um, but if anybody can put it together, it's probably him. Um, he's done it with the Psychedelic Furs really successfully. And, you know, they're doing great. And it, you sort of, you know, so I've been talking with him. I'm doing something on my own. I'm doing a an EP that's coming out, yeah. uh, hopefully in the spring, summertime. Um, and uh, also I want to do that first and, and finish off what I've been doing, uh, you know, with this, with this sort of solo experience. Yeah. It's been quite fun. It's, look, it's great. There's a great aspect to Space Hog, you know, as a group of guys. And it's really difficult to maintain that sort of gang feeling when you're not, you know, when you're older and you, everybody's got different responsibilities and all that sort of thing. Um, however, you know, I, can't, I, I wouldn't, you know, for the sake of sort of nostalgia of that, perhaps, and also for this sort of shared collective experience that we've sort of been fortunate to foster, you know, with people, uh, which is awesome. Yeah. 
but we'd have to get people there. And because uh, rock show doesn't really happen without people, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like it's okay doing this and then sort of you know, cafe chill vibe, but, but with a rock show, an audience is a really big part of it, you know, it's a big sort of biosphere of, of energy, and uh, yeah, you don't want to be like you know, playing for three men and a dog, you know, <laughs> let the sure. dog in for free. <laughs> 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 so, last couple of questions. Yes. Quick fire. Mm. So it's just a, a yes or no answer. Well, you don't want to win my biblical answer. No, I don't want to win my answer like that. <laughs> Tea or coffee? Quick coffee. Answers. Coffee. Sweet or sour? Uh, sweet. Rabbit or guinea pig? Mm. Uh, rabbit. Goldfish or zebra? Oh. <laughs> Goldfish or zebra? Uh, zebra for Americans. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, zebra. Jazz or no music at all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably no music at all. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. yeah. That's for Ben. Yeah. Um, and finally, who do you think would win the fight between a bear and a shark? Who? Well, is it on land or land well, shark? Or, or sea? I think if it were a land shark, probably the bear. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. with you on that. Yeah, yeah. Should bear. we get back to some music? Let's get back to some music then. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right, you're welcome. All right. I'll do a couple more, yeah, and we'll call it night. Um, just if you, if you are out there and listening, um, it's great to be able to play here. John, thank you for having me. And uh, thanks for coming down, uh, socially distant friends. And um, you know, uh, vinyl is a is is a real great thing. And I know this because I've been collecting my own vinyl for twenty or long time, thirty years. And uh, I enjoy it very much. I enjoy the thing of it, you know. And it sounds great. So um, it's great to have you here in the local community, supporting people uh, and spreading joy. Thanks. So thanks, man. Um, yeah. It's hard to know sometimes what key to start in. Um, any, any requests on that? Mungo no. City. What? Mungo City. Oh, Mungo City, okay, yeah, I can do that. Not in that key, though. <laughs>
Oh 
And all in all, we're just like you We love the all of you